Well, this week is your chance to see the world through the eyes of a child. The Kids in Focus exhibit opens Thursday at the Arizona Science Center. It showcases the talent and creativity of student photographers in our community. They have spent nine weeks honing their skills and capturing the world around them on camera. And starting this week, all that hard work will be on display. Here to tell us more about it is Sarah Custer, the Arizona Science Center's Chief Science and Curiosity Officer. Hello, Sari. Hello. And, and Ashley Woodburn, the program coordinator for Kids in Focus. Thank you to both of you for being here. So, Ashley, tell me about Kids in Focus. What is this? Yeah, so Kids in Focus is a local nonprofit organization, and we're dedicated to mentoring youth um, that are facing different adversities, helping them to build resilience and creativity and confidence through the power and art of photography. So, you're a photographer. I am. <laughs> You've mentored before. This, is a, this program has been going on for 11 years. Correct. And how long have you been working with it? I've been working with Kids in Focus on staff for the last year, and prior to that, I worked with them as a volunteer mentor. Well, let's show off what you have on your lap there. What's this? Yeah, so these are some examples of the photography that you'll see at the exhibit opening this Thursday. Um, these were photos taken by the kids in our after-school program, mm -hmm. and they've done a beautiful job to capturing different parts of the Phoenix community with just simple point-and-shoot cameras. Okay, so my jaw dropped when you pick up that camera. I had that a camera in college, and we got all my little sorority parties and whatnot. So it, it doesn't have to be the best camera in town, but it's just their eye. Correct. Yes, it's not as much about the equipment that they're using, but more about they're just creating an opportunity for them to express themselves. What's the age bracket? Um, 10 to 14. 10 to 14. Sari, this is all going down at the Arizona Science Center. You're going to have all these works there. Tell me what's going on on Thursday. All right. So on Thursday, we have the opening evening for the, the event. And then after that, it'll be open to the public. Um, we've been hosting Kids in Focus now since I think 2017-ish. We were trying to figure out exactly what date it started. But for a long time now, yeah. it's the perfect blend uh, you know, photography is a For great sure. blend of art and technology. Mm -hmm. So when you're talking about inspiring curiosity, this is a great chance to really harness that and look at the future creators of the world. And so our future creators are at work on display. This is opening night for the gallery. Uh, what is this experience like? How do we get tickets, etc.? All right. So that event is actually free to the public. Mm -hmm. So you can go um, online to azscience.org to check out information uh, about Kids in Focus and see um, how you can get in. But again, we've got an opening evening when the students will be there right on site mm -hmm. um, so you can meet some of the student photographers and their families and those that have mentored them as well um, at that Thursday evening event but then uh, again the exhibition will be open through until May 3rd. And the Science Center is just one of my favorite spots to go no matter your age I think it's so cool over there. Ashley walk me through kind of your experiences with these kids from learning the technology to how it works to what, how they could really develop this talent. Yeah, so I think one of my favorite parts about the entire Kids in Focus program is really seeing the transformation that takes place over the different aspects of the program. Mm -hmm. So from the moment that they get the camera in their hands, each picture that they take really helps them to build that confidence. Yeah. Then they get back to the classroom and they're sitting next to their photography mentor and the way that they light up when they see the artwork that they've created from the moment that they walk into this grand exhibit and are seeing their work on display, chatting with the public, mm. learning to articulate their artwork, and just really feeling seen and heard and celebrated in our community. Thursday is going to be a special day. Correct. Absolutely. <laughs> really well. well. Thank you, ladies, for what you do for our children here in the Valley of the Sun and helping to nurture their curiosity. And what is it? What was it, Sarah? You're a science and curiosity officer. That's Best right. title ever. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to both of you. Uh, the event is free, as they said. If you'd like to register, uh, they want to know how many people to expect, so do that. We put the information on AZ Family News app and azfamily.com. Click on the Scene on TV tab.